aims. Most predators are resting, but for the cheetah, that means it's a good time to hunt. She's targeted a lone Thompson's gazelle, wandering away from its herd. She needs to stalk as close as possible before it sees her and bolts. On legs that seem almost disproportionately long, she accelerates in seconds to her top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. She can outrun any other animal over short distances with her light, slender body and explosive strides. Her tail acts as a counterbalance when she turns sharply after the swerving prey. She's a spectacular sprinter, but no distance runner. When chases last longer than 20 seconds, she'll give up, exhausted and overheated. On this occasion, it's the Tommy that runs out of time. At the moment of capture, both are short of breath, but the cheetah's nostrils can take in enough air to maintain a relentless suffocating bite. She barely has the energy to drag her prey to a hiding place and certainly won't be able to eat for at least 10 minutes, nor will she be able to protect her kill from rivals. Hyenas are dangerous, powerfully built animals, probably twice her weight with bone-crushing jaws. She doesn't argue with them. The slender build, so essential for chases, makes cheetahs vulnerable to attack from slower, more solid competitors and hyenas are solidly determined. But there are many more gazelles to hunt. In an hour or two, when she's recovered, almost half her chases fail, but there are ways to improve her chances. A calf runs desperately from this predator built for speed, but in the wild, a youngster is a safe bet when the odds favor the survival of the quickest.